Good evening, everybody. Everybody hears me well? Please type me on the chat if you hear me well, see me well. The chat is very slow, very slow. I need some energy up, energy up. Basant, how are you? Good to see you here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's uh, let's start, guys. <clears throat> First, I want to know from where you're looking or uh, joining the call. Uh, where are you located? Type me in the chat, where are you located? Egypt, Alexandria, Tunisia, Alexandria, Egypt, Palestine, Dubai, Egypt, Egypt, New York. Super, 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 super. Um, and I want the guys who joined the Arabic call to type in the chat one. Who joined the Arabic call last week? Type me one in the chat. Super. So let's get started. Uh, we created the uh, Be the Alpha call simply to support each other to be alphas. Alpha is being a leader. So we created this call two times per month in English, two times per month in Arabic. We want to support each other to be leaders, leaders in our life, leaders in our business. We will be sharing experiences. So the call will go as follows. We will have 30 minutes every time we're talking about a particular subject. And then we'll have a couple of minutes. I will introduce a couple of people to come live to share with me what I call the aha moments. The aha moments are the things that you listen to during the call. And then it resembles with you. It's stuck into your mind. They said like, oh, that's something I really need to take care of. And then we will take a couple of questions before we call it off for the day. If anybody has questions, he can raise his hand uh, through the Zoom, or if he has another question, can put it on the chat direct. So let's get started. Everybody or all of us wants to have a change in their life. They want to uplift their life. They want to uplift their careers. But there are a couple of things that stays or blocks them. There are three things and we will talk about them in details. Number one, which is fear. Everybody has fear and nobody tells me I don't get afraid of anything. Anybody gets fear of rejection, fear of failure, fear of others' people's opinion. That's fear. The second thing that blocks people from getting what they want is their beliefs. Our belief system, which is already in us from our parenting, from our society, from our culture. And the third thing which I want to share, it is the input that you get into to your mind. These are the three things that blocks us from what we want, blocks us from achieving our goals. So let's take the fear and try to decode what is fear for us. Fear on its own, it's an illusion. In Arabic, it's called wahm. It's an illusion. It's not a real danger. It is something that your mind and your brain creates for you in order to block you from doing something. Because our brain is two million years old. Two million years old is was developed to protect you, to make you survive. So its main thing is to block you from any danger. But fear is not danger. Danger is something that you need to step back, assess the risk, and see, will you take this risk or not? But fear is just an illusion. Remember this. And there was a research was done before to check the fear in people. And most of the people have fear from heights. So they did what? The people who jumps for, with parachutes from planes, they put a heart monitor on them and they kept checking the heart rate while they are on the ground going up and then they reach the altitude jump. Going up, going up, going up until they reach the altitude where they will jump. All this, the heart rate was very high. And once they jumped, the heart rate went down. That proves that the fear is an illusion. It prepares you for something that you want to do, but it's not danger. That is fear, which means an illusion. 
The second thing that I want to talk about, about fear, is the fear of the opinion of people, other people. Write me in the chat if you fear the opinion of other people when you're doing something. Who fears that? Write me one in the chat. One, one, Kareem, Mahmoud, uh, laptop, perfect. A lot of us fear the opinion of other people. But let me tell you a story, and I want you to really take it into your mind and keep it with you, because this will block you, will block you 100% and let you not consider the opinion of people. Let me say that save die tomorrow. And how many people will come to his funeral? Let's say mm, 10 people, 15 people. And let me tell you, if the weather is bad, there is it's rainy, it's stormy, how many, how many people will really come? Three, two. So why should I care about the opinion of people? If you really think about this and keep it in your mind, you will never, ever take the opinion of other people really to your heart. When we're talking about the opinion of people, we need to think about a couple of things. Number one, the people around us, which is our family, our uh, colleagues, our friends, sometimes they care about us so they give us opinion not to move forward, get out of our comfort zone. So it's a term of protection. So they want, they care about us, they wanna protect us. This is number one. Number two, some people jealous, are jealous. They don't want you to get out of the social circle or the tribe to do something better. They wanna do it, but they don't have the courage to do it. So don't fall for this. Opinion of people is not that important. Other people about fear is, the fear of failure. I don't want to step and do something new because I'm afraid to fail. There is a very good uh, explanation of fear, which is, uh, yes, Amr, the entire meeting is in English. Last week was in Arabic. Next week is going to be in English. So if I go back, fear of failure. Let's give me an example of a pendulum. The pendulum, I call it the pendulum of success. One side is failure. The other side is success. So in order to succeed tremendously, you have to fail tremendously. So that's why most of the people fail a little bit and succeed a little bit, fail a little bit and succeed a little bit. That will not get you the success you want. So you need to embrace success, uh, failure in order to get success. So if somebody tells me, say, if what I need to do to succeed, I tell him, fail a lot and fail fast. Don't be afraid of this. It's part of the equation of success. Fail quick and fail strong. It will propel to your success. So this is about fear. So fear, again, it's an illusion. Number two, if you care about people, think about the story that I said. Number three, don't fear of failure because it's part of success. Fear fast, fear quick. It will propel to your success. Then people tell me, okay, see if what can I do to make myself happy? What can I do to make myself get everything that I want in life? It is one word. It is just one word. And type me in the chat, what is this one word? I need engagement. I need people energy. Energy is everything. Write me in the chat. What is the one word can get you whatever you want and makes you happy? Hunger is true. Discipline is true. More, more, more. Basant, get inside and tell me. Basant. Love it, Mustafa. It's progress. It's progress. Whatever you do every day, it's towards your end goal. And the progress, getting better each and every day, it is the key word. But if I ask about what is the ingredient of success, the number one ingredient of success, it is hunger that everybody said. You need to be hungry for more, hungry for knowledge, hungry for, uh, to succeed. This is every single successful person on this, uh, on this planet is hungry. And this is the first thing that I check when I hire people. I look for hunger in them. If I don't find hunger, they will never succeed. And let me tell you a story of mine. Um, many years back, 
I was working really 16, 17, 18 hours uh, a day. And I couldn't like pass my par. I cannot put more time. I cannot. And I was watching a video. And it's like, I was not listening carefully, but there was one statement in the video that caught my attention. And this statement was simply, the guy was saying, who wants to have more? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, of course, I want to have more, but actually I cannot do more. I'm already at my max. I'm putting in 18 hours a day of work. I need to exceed. I cannot. Then the guy said, very interesting statement. If you want more, you need to be more. And I stopped like this and I like, it really was one of the aha moments that changed my life completely. He meant by, if you want more, you need to be more. You need to develop yourself more. Because when you develop yourself more, you attract the things that, give you an example. A lot of people win the lottery. You can win $10 million in the lottery. But majority of these people lose the money in a year, lose the money in six months, all the money. And this is why. Because they are not developed enough. They're not developed enough to make use of this money. They just spend it. They don't know how to make money. They don't know how to make business. They don't need to know how to invest. This is what is meant by you need to be more. And let me give you another, another example. A lot of people on New Year uh, have this uh, vision of, okay, I want to lose weight. So they work, let me say, like they work a lot to lose weight for two months. They lose 20 kilograms. They lose the 20 kilograms. They put a goal for themselves. But once they stop, they gain 30 kilograms. This is why. This is, they're not developed enough to maintain this. Developed enough means what? They, they don't understand the healthy lifestyle. They don't uh, understand how to maintain the weight. You need to have the knowledge. You have to be personally developed to maintain this level. And let me put it as an example and something that you really need to take care of. We as humans, we work kind of like um, an air condition. We have a thermostat inside. The thermostat uh, of the air condition is like a set temperature. When the temperature of the rooms go up, becomes hot, the thermostat kicks in and it starts cooling and vice versa. Each and every one of us has a the thermostat set point for each and every category of our life. It's either it's financial, it's either relationship, it's either career, it's either family, it's either, um, uh, how you call it, the business. Whatever you have, it has a set point. You need to develop that this set point in order to go to the next level. Once Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett is a guy who's worth more than $100 billion. People asked him, what is the best investment you did? He said, the best investment in life is the investment in yourself. Poof. Then, then Warren Buffett, the guy that his net worth is $100 billion, says this, everybody has to listen. So this is the best investment, the best investment that you can lose. There is a very famous statement uh, that says, we're all equal as humans, as souls, but we're not equal into the marketplace. We're different in the marketplace. What does that mean? It means two things. We differ in skills and knowledge, and we differ in attitude. And let me give you an example, and I, I want your engagement uh, in the chat. If I put in front of you a picture of Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, um, top successful people in the world, and I tell you, tell me what is common between them. Tell me what is common between those people. Write me in the chat, what is common? I need the chat on fire. What is common? Hunger, vision, consistency, development. What else? Brainstorm, brainstorm. What else? Discipline, focus, dedication, belief. Wow, attitude, perfect. Thinking out of the box, perfect. You know, guys, what you all said, what you all said is what? It's an attitude. It's an attitude. Yes, a little bit of skills, a little bit of knowledge, 
but it's majority of it, 80, 90% of all these common factor is an attitude. You need to develop an attitude. You need to develop the consistency. You need to develop the discipline. You need to develop the hunger. You need to develop uh, the, even the risk-taking. Risk-taking is an attitude, but of course has some knowledge in it because you don't need an idiot to run a business or take risks. So all this, it's an attitude. So if we go to the second point, which is they have an attitude, okay, what else they have? They have skills and they have knowledge. Okay, if you tell me, if theoretically I ask you a question, is it possible that you double your income in the same amount of time, theoretically? Yes or no? Yes. If I tell you, can you full time your income in the same amount of time, theoretically? Five times. I'll tell you, it's yes, because other people do it. There are other people, their hour relate is $50. There are other people, hour relate is $1,000. And there are people, their hourly rate is $10,000. So theoretically it is. So you tell me how. It's to develop yourself more than you do at your job. Your asset is your personal development. And let me give you an example. The minimum, like let's say the people who work in, um, in McDonald's. People can start their career by working in McDonald's. They pay the minimum wage. But it's at the end of the day, it is by the value they add. It takes two, three hours to learn what you need to do in McDonald's. Now it's what pictures even in front of you, put the hamburger, put the cheese, put the, um, the onions, the pickles, and it's done. But this is the value that you add. But in order to reach what you want in life, you need to add much more value. The key is to always think, add more value. I have people in my team, when I always tell them, like, guys, don't be an intermediary, which means if I give you something, you need to give it to an agency. When the agency replies back, you just don't pass. You're not a box mover. Where is the value you add on that? You need to add value. This is the key to your success. Always think how you can add value more. And this happens by you developing your personally, de developing your personal development in all aspects according to your goals. I have a lot of friends and a lot of people that I coach that want to do something and suddenly they start doing it. They get excited. And after a couple of months, they stop. Who has the same thing? Like you get excited about something. I have a goal. I want to do it. And then one month, two months, even one week, two weeks and stop. Who has this? True. Even I sometimes have it. So let me tell you that the most successful people in life became successful and became expert because of two things. What are the two things? It's practice and repetition. And as everybody says, that repetition is the mother of all skills. In order to succeed, you need to repeat. You need to repeat, you need to repeat until you gain success, until you gain expertise. And I'll tell you, when you start to do something, you will suck. But that's not an issue. The more you suck, the more you gain expertise, and then you will succeed. Let me give you an example. If, for example, uh, you know the pump of water, when you want to pump, you can do one pump, two pump, three pump, the water is not coming out. You can quit, but there is no result. But the more you pump, the more you're consistent, the more you repeat, the water will come. You will get the result. That's exactly how it happens to us. And in general, you're always going to be off track. You always need to align yourself. Even the plane, the plane, a flight from point A to point B, there is autopilot, there is a, a pilot on it. It's 80%, 90% of the time is off route because of the wind but they align to land safely at the destination. So you need, you need, 
the repetition. You need to practice. You need to discipline yourself to do things once, twice, 10,000 times. And you don't get bored. So if I'm, if I'm talking, again, what stops between us, between what we want and what we need to achieve? We said fear. And we talked about the fear that you need to change to courage. And let me tell you one quick thing about the fear again in order to turn it to courage. I can tell you now, honestly, you can be 99% of the time coward. Just choose 1% in the day to be courageous, which means if you're afraid of uh, cold calls for sales, take 10 minutes in the day and say in this 10 minutes, I'll be, I'll have the courage. I will do it. Just pick 1% of the day and have the courage to do what you're afraid of. That is fear. The second is the beliefs. It's the beliefs that we have, the mu'taqadatna, whatever we are grown up with, so this is not your real you. This is what the culture put in you. This is what the parents put in you. That's what your school put in you. This is what your circle put in you. So in order to change your beliefs, you need to look from a different perspective, a different circle, have an open mind, look at things in a different way. Beliefs. And number three, which is more, one of the most important, is the input that you put in your head. That stops us from where we want to go. But let me tell you one most important thing when people ask me they want to achieve something. They tell me, okay, safe. So tell me, how to do it? I have a goal, how to do it? I said, no matter how I tell you how, you will fail. You tell me, how come? I said, yes, no matter how I tell you, how can you do it, you will fail. Because the question, it's the wrong question. When the, when the how is the first question, it is a wrong question because it paralyzes you. You're trying to do something you never did before, have something, a dream, a goal. Nobody did, nobody like, I mean yourself, you didn't do, so it's already hard for you. So you will quit right away. So what is the right question to ask? Tell me in the chat, what is the right question? So you, you know your goal, what is your goal? What is the most important question that comes after knowing your goal? Write me in the chat. A question. I love you guys all. It is the why. There's something called the why power. Why power is much stronger than what? The willpower. I can have, the willpower is like a battery. I can have my will today till the end of the day, and then I need to recharge. That's the willpower. But the why power, it is something that gives me the energy, the drive to pursue my goal. Personally, what I do, I wake up every day, look at my goals and look at my why, why I started, why I put these goals, why I need to continue. Even if I'm having a bad mood, a bad day, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed but I put my why in front of me. The famous example that I always like to say, which is if you have a slab, like a three meter slab, and I put this three meter slab on the floor and I tell you walk on the slab, I'll give you a thousand dollars. So you will tell me, of course, you're gonna walk on it, here's a thousand dollars. I'll tell you, okay, I raised the slab on two bricks and I'm gonna give you another thousand dollars. You're gonna walk on this slab as well. But if I tell you, I'll take this lab, I'll put it between two buildings, 30 floors each, and the slab is on it. And I tell you, cross it, and I'll give you $1,000. Nobody will do it because there is no motive. But if I tell you, your son is on the other side of the building, and the building is on fire, you will fly to the next building. And that shows what the power of the why. If you have this power of why, nothing can stop you. And we're all as humans, sometimes we forget why we started. So that's why I highly recommend that everybody wakes up every morning, remembering his goals, and at the same time, remembering why he has these goals. Some people have these goals because of their mother. My mother made a lot for me when I was a kid, and I need to achieve this for her. 
everybody's why is different. You need to find your why, but you need not to find your artificial why. You need to find your really deep why, why you're doing all this. If you don't have a why, you're going to fail because we are humans. We get demotivated. We get bored. You need something to drive you. And the only thing that can drive you is not safe. It's your why. And if I'm talking about the beliefs and you see the power of the beliefs, uh, Abdurrahman, I'll ask you, I'll answer this question of the why. Uh, Abdullah, please keep it in the notes. How can we find your why? Uh, if I want to give you a good example of a belief, let me give you a story which happened in the 1980s. 1980s, there was a guy called Mel Fisher. Mel Fisher, due to his studies and readings and so on and so forth, understood that there is a historic uh, boat that had gold on it sunk in the sea. And he wanted to go on a trip to find the sea, uh, the gold. So he collected the investments, he collected the people, tell them, I know where is the, uh, the ship is, I, I'm, we were going to go get it. So he went for a year, 365 days, collected the investments, collected the people. He came back with zero. Everybody like lost the money. The people, his team went off, but they didn't stop him. He went for another year, collected the investment, collected other people, team to go, to go and search for the treasure, for the gold in the middle of the sea. Went back, zero. How many of us will quit on our goal after one year? like this gold in the ship that sunk. How many of us will quit? I kept trying. I kept trying for one complete year, two years, and I couldn't find what I want. Write me in the chat, who will quit? I like that I will not quit, but I changed the plan. Let me tell you what the guy did. It took the guy 16 years, 16 full years to find the ship and the gold. He found half a billion dollar of gold, 16 years. What hell on earth was his belief to go for 16 years? That's the power of belief. Most of us will quit. But he had the belief because people do what they believe. But it's very important to have three beliefs. Very important. You're absolutely correct. Everybody will get frustrated. Correct, Basant. They will be depressed. Absolutely. But there is one thing you have to believe. And this belief has to be in three, three different points. Number one, you, he had to believe that the treasure is there. He believed that there is a treasure. He studied, he read, he know, he believed that there is a treasure over there. That's number one. Number two, that he will and he will must find it. He had this belief in himself. So the treasure is there to keep him going 16 years. The second is, I will find it to keep him going 16 years. What is the third belief? So I know it's there. I'll find it. But what is the third? That it is worth for me. It has value for me. So in order to have this belief, to let him go 16 years, he had to have this three. I believe that the treasure is there. I believe my goal is out there. Second, I believe I'm going to get it. I believe I'm going to find it. Third is it is worth to me. It is important to me. It is of value to me. Without these three, nobody can achieve his goals. The guy took him 16 full years. That's the power of belief.
Who's ready to go for 16 years after his dreams, his goals? Who's ready? Write in the chat one. Who's ready to go to achieve his goals? 16 years. I love that. That's alpha. That's what I call an alpha. An alpha is a person who is really hungry to achieve his goals. No matter how long it took, but he's going to achieve it. One of the last things that I really want people to uh, get from this call, it's called uh, the creation process. Why it's called the creation process, but let me explain it a little bit more visually. You have your life and you create your life, which means I'm responsible for my life. Uh, my, the government is not responsible for my life. Parents are not responsible for my life. Uh, my friends are not responsible for my life. My boss is not responsible for my life. I am responsible for my life. So creation, then life. So I create my life. So you come and tell me, okay, how can I create? I'll tell you from your expectations. What you expect to come, I go after to create. So what I, if I expect something and I keep working on it, I'll go after it to create. So you expect, you create the life you want. So what moves my expectation or what moves your expectations? Thinking, thoughts. That's, the, uh, that's why there are a lot of books about your uh, thinking, the power of thinking, because there's thinking and your thinking creates your expectations. The expectations creates the life you want. But trust me, you can't control your thoughts. I can't control. I can control my thoughts for five minutes. I can control my thoughts for one hour, two hours, and that's it. You can't control your thoughts longer than that. So how can I control my thoughts? And this is the most important thing. All the books stopped at thinking, thoughts. But there is something important that comes before it. It's your input to your brains. What I listen to, what I hear, what I see, this all influence my thinking. And when, when it influences my thinking, it influences my expectations. When it influences my expectation, that's the thing that I go after and create. So the most important thing is what? It's what gets into my mind. So that's why one of the main things in my routine every day that I do in the morning when I wake up is to develop myself in the things that I want. I start filling my brains with positive things personal development thing. I don't watch the news, the war, the earthquake, the, uh, the shooting, the mooting, all these things. I don't get attached to these. I don't want negativity. I don't want depression to get into my mind because what gets into my mind is the thing that I go after and create. So what I look after is I make sure that what gets into my mind is the right thing that I want. This is an extremely important thing that you need to work on. Protect your brain, have a shield, and only put into your brain and to your mind the things that is very important to you, that moves you ahead, not gets you back. Now we're, we're having a lot of things that comes into our head. The social media, the news, well, and all, 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 all these things, it gets bombarded from everywhere. And... The tactics of these people, the social media guys and the news guys, is to give you negativity because negativity attracts attention. And that's how they make money. So it gives you negativity. It, it, you make them money, but it ruins your life. Protect your mind. Put a plan for yourself every day to protect your mind. You need to understand what's important to you. And these are the information that you get into your head. And that's it. You will tell me, okay, uh, safe. You will be dumb and don't know uh, what's happening in, uh, in the world. No, sweetheart, no. I get the information that relates to my life, my business, my family, and that's it. 
unless the war knocks the door, I'll move. Other than that, I'm not interested. There are a lot of people interested in that, and that's their job. I really love them. They do their job. I do my job. Protect your mind. So before we turn into the aha moments and the questions, we do know that everything we do in life is based on the decisions that we do. We're all similar and we're all equal. But what differs us is the decisions that we do. So today, I want each and every one to make two decisions. I want everybody writes two goals that they want to achieve in the next six to 12 months. Write it down. What do you want to achieve really in the next six to 12 months? Take the time and think. We're going to be together. And I want each and every one achieve these goals. So write down the two goals that you want to achieve in the next six to 12 months. Second, write why you must achieve these goals. Without why, there is no goal. Why you need these goals? Why you need to achieve these goals? And number three, I want you to do an action today. Just one action today to give you one step toward this goal. For example, if your goal is to read a book, read one page today. If your goal is to be uh, healthy, jump the, on the floor and do 10 push-ups. Do an action today. Do an action today to make you have the momentum, the progress, the day over days being better. But do it now. So closing today again, I want each and every one have two goals. Why you need these two goals? And be an alpha to take a step today, just a small step to do it. So um, this is the core of today's uh, call. Now I want to take people to tell me some aha moments. Aha moments means what? I want to, everybody tells me what was, maybe something that you know, but when you heard it today, clicked in your head. I call it uh, aha moment. So I want people to raise their hands and I want them to get live now and share with us the aha moments. Who's ready? Raise the hands. And I need people to be active. Hazim. Okay. Um, Mr. Saif, I, uh, since one year, uh, I decided to remove uh, all my friends on, on the social media, any, 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 any guy who just posts negativity or, uh, or memes and comics or anything like this, I just blocked all the news, uh, uh, all the news uh, pages and all of these. I really, I really, in this year, I really Abs noticed uh, the difference. Absolutely. And that clicked with me. Yeah, you know, uh, that clicked with me. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I totally agree with you. And uh, Hazim, thank you very much for coming and stepping forward to say what resembled with you. Hazim just shared with us that it is important to protect your mind. He did it by disconnecting from his negative friends. And I'm sure that everybody will have a benefit out of this. Protect your mind. Let's go to Ziad. Hello, Mr. Saif. Um, I have always, I mean, uh, on social media, I always saw people who post about their physical appearance and their business life. And I thought to myself, that's what I want in life. That's what I, uh, uh, that I, that's what I need to pursue. Uh, but this taught me that it's not what I want. I have to sit with myself to learn what uh, what I want in my life, what I want to do in the future. Every day, it's about what I really want. So I um, I took a step back. Maybe I am procrastinating right now. 
Uh, but uh, يعني, after this call, it, it got me really motivated and uh, hyped up to know more. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Um, I would like to say that a lot of things on the social media just crap. Uh, don't look at these things at all. You have your own goals. You know, even before social media, in our culture, let's uh, the culture put the goals for you. You know, like I'm. Let me tell you my, for example, my story to a little bit resemblance. Uh, I was born in a family that if you're uh, an engineer, then you're the best. Other than that, you're crap. And though I love engineering and so on and so forth, not to, not to say something bad about it, but I followed my family, I followed my culture to become an engineer. But it took me two years to switch. So the opinion of people, the culture, the social media, the goals, uh, what they're doing, what they're having, it's totally their thing. It's not your thing. Your thing is your thing. You know, one of the biggest problems now I see um, that really blocks success, it's uh, when you try to imitate, when people try to imitate, which means like, try to be you, just you. You have more value than you try to copy people. Let's sing in coaching and public speaking, like who, who wants to try how Tony Robbins speaks, how Gary Vee speaks, how uh, Richard Branson do the PR stunts. Tony is Tony, Gary is Gary, Richard is Richard. You is you. That's your power. Don't try to imitate. Thank you. Let's have Rukaya. Hi. Thank Hi, you for giving um, So I want to share the thing that already happened. So four months back, when I graduated and I was working, uh, I was doing one waitressing job and one uh, so social service job. And with both of them, I just, I wasn't happy. It was very toxic. And I was struggling with mental health issues. And at some point I decided, you know what, enough is enough. I don't want to do it anymore. So on 7th of March, I quit my first one. And then on 21st, I quit the second one. You know, I was scared because those are the only source of income I had. And after that, I, I did, I joined this business in 27th of March. Mm -hmm. And I never looked back. It's not about the job or anything, but you know what? I, mm -hmm. People were shaming me saying, you shouldn't quit your job before getting another job. What, hap what will happen? Who will pay for your bills and things? But I was like, I had enough of these things. I need to be hungry for money to make money. <laughs> And life has changed, actually. And, you know, so far, I, I didn't have that courage to encourage other people to do the same. But after this call, I think I would motivate people to be hungry. Put yourself in such a situation from where you have no other way to go uh, except moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, Rukaya, thank you very much uh, for sharing your story. I'm very proud of you. Uh, I'm very proud of your courage, and I want everyone in the chat puts one for Rukaya for her courage. That's an alpha. That's a leader. Thank you very much for the lovely um, comment that you did. And one of the main things, uh, usually Tony Robbins says it, it's if you want to conquer the island, burn the boats. So when you get, you want to get into your goals, don't have a cushion because a lot of people think, okay, I will try and then I go back if it didn't work. No, 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 no. Burn the boat. Go after your goal. Rukaya, again, thank you very much. I'm proud of you and everybody here is proud of you. You're really an alpha. Do we have somebody else next or we take um, questions? A couple of questions before we call it the day and I want to have live questions so whoever wants to have a question uh, raise your hand we'll get you inside
Thank you, Hossam. Thank you, Hossam, very much. We're together here for all of us to be alphas. Uh, Ziad, please come in. Uh, hello again. Um, I just uh, I just have this question. I all I always get hesitant. I always update my goals, like what I want to reach in my life. But I always get hesitant. I don't know when to, where to start, and I panic, and I don't know how to take an action, and I get hurt very easily. But still, I I am very hungry for success, but I'm not taking action, and it really depresses me. Okay, very good, uh, Ziad, and thank you very much for your courage and your engagement. Uh, it shows your character, it shows your material, and I'm sure you achieve your goals. But let me tell you a couple of things on that. Um, number one, the, the, the way you want. The most important thing is to be specific about your goals. Number two is the how of the goal. One of the most well-known technique for the how, how to achieve your goal is to model, is to have modeling. Any goal that we want to create or achieve, let's say 99% of the people already achieved it. There are a lot of people did the same thing that we want. We're not creating the next Facebook. We're not creating the next Instagram. So 99% of the things that we want to do, it's already achieved. Somebody did it before. So modeling tells you what. You go and see the person who achieved your goal and model him. See what he do. What was his strategy? What was um, his tactics? Um, get mentors, get coaches. You know, a lot of people are willing to help each other without even getting paid. Guys, try to ask. I want to reach this goal and this guy reached this. He walked the same path as me. The same path, I go ask him, I study him. I see what he reads, what his tactics, what his strategy, what his routines. And on top of that, but there is one important thing you need to understand. If I want to be a football player, okay, my goal is to be a football player and my kind mentor is Muhammad Salah. I cannot go model Muhammad Salah now. I have to model Muhammad Salah all his journey, how he started, what did he do to reach that? You cannot compare yourself or model yourself at this point of life with somebody else who already reached it. Model people, find mentors, find coaches that will help you reach your goal. But one of the most important things I want you to do, try to get, for example, if you have a goal, Break it down to very small steps, very small milestones. You need to achieve these small milestones. Even if, let's say, I want to read, for example, my goal is I want to read one book uh, every day. Start by a milestone that you read one page every day. Why I tell you this, to have it a small mile, milestone. Something called by research is called winner's high. Winners high what? Like I am safe, I'm addicted to winning. Addicted, like it's in my blood. I want to win. It's winners high. And let me tell you a research, which the research is done on what? On mouse. They got a mouse and another mouse. Same strength, even drugs, doped. Okay, and they made them have a fight. So this, the other mouse that he was not doped, won the fight. Okay, which is normal. The other, the other mouse is doped. They took the winning mouse and put in front of him a similar size mouse, but not doped. He still win. Then they took the same winning mouse, put a stronger mouse in front of him to fight. The winning mouse won. And this is called the winning high, addicted to winning, which means when you have small successes or milestone that you reached with your goals, every time it changes your probability higher to achieve the next milestone because you're addicted to winning. I want to win. I gained the confidence. I gained the courage to win. But if I put a single bulk 
my goal is to be to reach 10 million dollars by the end of the year good luck but this month i'll gain 10k next month i'll gain 20k after i get i gain 50 i get this winning high i close more sales work on the winnings high next uh mahmoud Uh, hello everyone. How are you safe? Hello, Mahmoud. Um, so right now I was working at, at my previous job. I worked as a software engineer at Samsung. Then I oh. managed to shift my career. My colleague. Yeah, yeah. My colleague. <laughs> colleague. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I managed to um, uh, shift my career into data analysis, mm -hmm. and I um, I actually got to my goal and got to a new job in a company abroad. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that they hired me not as a junior, but as a mid-level. Okay. Super. That, that's very good and everything. But the, mm -hmm. the main problem is that I always feel replaceable. There are always people better than me in the job. And I feel that it wasn't a good idea for them to hire me as a mid-level, not, uh, not even as a junior. And I start doubting my skills and doubting everything. So what do you think about that? Okay. Very very nice question. And uh, let me give you a story. Mahmoud uh, happened to me in Samsung, but then it happened to me in Samsung headquarters. I was in Seoul and I worked in Seoul for three years. And um, I did everything possible to be irreplaceable. Okay. And everybody in the company knew who was safe from the smallest to the biggest. One day the HR called me and said, safe, please come. He said, like, okay, safe, your um, time in headquarters is finished. Uh, you need to go back to Egypt. And I said, okay, excuse me. Uh, no, I want to stay in headquarters. Everybody in headquarters want me. Um, I'm a superstar. The guy like, came to my ears and whispered. He said, safe, put your ego down a little bit. I can replace you with an empty chair in two seconds. Uh, frankly speaking, I was shocked. And it made me feel the same thing as you do. Uh, that day, I made it like Quran for me. I will increase my personal development outside of my job scope to the extent that I will not be replaceable anywhere in this life. I always continue to develop myself. I develop myself every single day. I spend two, three hours a day, two, three hours a day to develop myself. I gain the skills that is needed and the skills, the potential skills that I will need in the future. You need, look, at the end of the day, you can be replaced. But what, uh, what is required from us is to develop ourselves, to add value an extreme value, even without asking for pay. I, I add value. I add value until people will not want you to get rid of you. Or replace you. And I'll tell you something. People are not uh, dumb, Mahmoud. When they put you in this position, they see something in you. So do not have the doubt. Yes, you think you're young. You think you're, um, um, you don't deserve it. No, no, but you have something in you that they got you in. But it doesn't make you sit and relax. No, 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 no. Keep developing yourself with this, for this company, for the next company, for your own business. Your asset is your self, is your knowledge, is your skills. And trust me, with this, it's very hard to replace. Yeah. So all the best. I'm very proud of my um, ex-colleague. Very proud of you. And thank you for the lovely question. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mahmoud. Let's have uh, Abdurrahman. Hey, Steve. How are you? Hello, Abdurrahman. So I wanted to ask how to be hungry to work every day, all the day, how to have the hunger to like every day I'm gonna work, every day I'm gonna work. Now, now what happened, I'm gonna work. How to have that addicted to success. And uh, then how to find the actual why, because I sat mm -hmm. with myself, 
I wrote like three pages of why, but how can be assured that uh, one of them is the actual why? You know, the one like when I see it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get my eyes up and do it all the work. True. Thank you, Abdurrahman, for this uh, lovely question. Uh, there is a technique called um, the five uh, the deep, deep five deep levels of why. Five deep levels of why. D. When we come and ask ourselves, we have a goal. Then I come and ask you, and th this you need to practice with yourself until you reach it. It can be disaster. Some people cry from the why. It reaches a level that people cry until they find the 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 deepest point. Uh, these five levels, they say like, this is the goal. Why you want this goal? So you say your reason and then ask why you have this reason. Then you give an answer. Then ask why I have this thing. Then keep saying five times why on the same goal. Some people reach, um, and I saw it like with my own eyes, reach the point that they cry when they remember their mother uh, getting sick because of doing, she's doing something for them, they, it really get them teared. You really need to sit with yourself and take it serious because this is the only thing will keep you, this is the only thing that will keep you waking up every day, want to run after your goals. It is the, only thing so spend time and if you need some assistance catch me on uh, instagram with it i'll do this practice with you it's called the level the five levels deep it will go deep down in order to understand your real why in order to get this goal and it's not money terms it is not like fame things it's not a status thing it is the real thing that will get you out in the morning up in the morning and run regardless of the situation that you're in and these whys, and these whys, I will, how you call it, I review it every day morning before I start. I'm like you, I'm human. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm on the wrong side of the bed. I don't want to do a shit, just to, to be honest. But I remember why I started. I remember why I did these moves. I remember why I'm going in this direction. I hope I solved the, I answered your question. And if you want to go deeper inside, we'll catch up on one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, Seif. I'm going to do it. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. All the best. We have any other questions or we uh, call it for the day and we'll meet again after two weeks. But my one request, the only request that I have for you today, sit with yourself just 30 minutes. Write your why. Write so your two goals. Write your why and take an action on it. Don't live till tomorrow without taking a single small action on these two goals. And uh, thank you very much for coming to this call. This call, again, we will repeat it. Next week is going to be in Arabic. Uh, the week after is going to be in English. And every time we'll have a topic that we will zone on in and develop ourselves in it. And we'll be ready to take questions and answer them at the end. Thank you very much. You guys are all alphas. And I look forward to see you in two weeks. Have a great night and catch up again. See you. Thank you very much, guys.